All right, y'all, we are over here in Marion County today, and we are gonna start a survey of a cave that was part of a dye trace project that we were a part of earlier this year, back in January. I'll post a link in the comments to that video, as well as a link up above, so if you're interested in checking that out. Now, the reason we are surveying this cave and the reason we dye traced it is because there is a sand quarry that is being developed on top of the mountain here. So part of our project to try to help protect this cave is to go ahead and do a survey of it so it's documented, everything in the cave, things like how much sand is in there, the ceiling heights, anything like that that could be potentially affected by this sand quarry in the future. So we're gonna get the pit rigged up here. Jason's gonna start the sketching up here on the surface. We'll use some old fashioned tools like a Kesson survey tape to measure the pit depth here. And then we'll be using a brick for survey instrument once we're down in the pit and we start surveying the cave. So come along with us as we survey this cave here in Marion County, Tennessee. Thousand feet or run out of paper. That's the I that's have, the rule. Thousand only, feet or forty stations. Listen, I have paper. <laughs> this is regular printer paper. This is right in the rain paper. So this is the survey instrument that we're gonna use. It's called a brick four. And this will take everything we need, the distance, the inclination, and the compass readings today. Is that, Old school today on the pit measurement i don't know do all these youngins um do they use kesson tapes to do their pit depths there it is i'm just gonna get this pit rigged up If we can throw this down in this pit. Oh, because you you're going to consider this part because you have to. Well, I'm going to measure this, and then I guess eventually we'll have to do a shot. We can try to do a shot. We may have to do it on the way up. All right, so we are gonna. Okay, so we need to get that rope head like right here. Hey Jesse, on the way out, we'll survey from 
The water looks good down there. It's clear. Let's see. Y'all good? I'm gonna clip this to me. All right. How happened, Kelly? As you go directly down, you find the where you're gonna put the station down there. Okay. Because we can back shot to it with the disto. Okay. From there, I need you to, um, Jesse will get on rope. And, okay. And he'll pull it. Maybe, I may have him move it over this way a little bit. Okay. Because it'll give us a shot up to here. Or at least from here to there. Okay. I just want to, I think we're going to have to do a shot up and then angle the shot. All right. And we're just pulling this tape down as we go. off and we are gonna set station to get this survey started Okay, I'm off rope. Um, so if Jesse wants to get on rope and then we can work the tape. All right, so Jesse is getting on rope up there and we're gonna pull this tape tight so we can get a pit depth. Okay, let me get a little bit closer to it. All right, um, go ahead and pull up some. Keep going, keep going. Slow down, okay, hold on, I'm gonna pull down just a little. Okay, pull tight. I am on station and they are measuring the pit depth here. 33 feet. So I'm gonna mark this with just a little bit of white out so we know where that point is that we measured to. So this is actually a pretty wide pit, 58.2, including the slope. And the pit drop here measured at 33. So a 25 foot slope to a 33 foot pit. Beautiful pit this is today. What a beautiful pit this is. Some water down there flowing. The rain we had last night didn't affect this cave very much. So Jesse's gonna go just right inside the cave right there and recalibrate the brick instrument that we're gonna use so that way we can ensure that we have some accuracy on our survey today. Now this right here that you're seeing is actually a water pipe. People do actually draw water out of this cave. Yeah, it's beautiful in this pit today. Beautiful fall day. Leaves all coming down. All right, here comes Jason. We're gonna get this survey started. So 
Any that passage, where does that I've go? been in there. That over there actually dead ends right there. I have been all the way over there, but the water goes, um, there's a passage to the left that I haven't been all the way this through. This water over here goes downstream. Yeah, I haven't been all the way that way, but it was higher that day I went over there. I don't know what's up there Where's either, the how that far that looks goes. Like the upstream right there. Yes, it, it gets really tight that in way. that tunnel passage, yes. All right, so we're going to start our survey here and go into the main passage of the cave right up there. So something else worth noting about this cave and this water, the water that actually flows from the creek up above and down and that comes through this cave is an exceptional water of Tennessee. And what that means is that it scored a perfect score for biological diversity in this stream. So that's another reason why cavers as well as local residents are trying to save this watershed from the sand quarry that's being developed up above it. To there. Negative 23.0. Yep. All right, so I've got my little survey kit here. I've got some flagging, a marker, some targets, my white out. We just shot this station to here, all the way from over there where Jesse is, and I think it was 50 something feet. And then I'm gonna give Jason some Elwoods, which is our left, right, up, and down, so he can start sketching. Um, left is 23.6, right is zero slash 10.26. 10.3. Up is 1.2. Down is 1.3 slash 3.5. All right, so Jason has all the measurements now from that station to where I was just at, and now he can draw all of this passage in between. Probably a raccoon or something, maybe a raccoon or a possum. It crawled up in here and died. It doesn't have to be like silly right here. No down, go down to that, go that wall. All right, so we're gonna go over here <laughs> so we can set our next station. There's two ways to go here. That's the main way. Then there's another little room that goes to a hole over here. And I believe there's a historic signature over there. So when you're surveying, you get to poke around in every little hole to check for passage. And I just checked up there. It doesn't go anywhere, but while I was up here, I noticed this cave salamander. Yeah. 39.3. Okay. 69.8. Okay. Minus 1.5. Okay. Up to. You want on the slab alone? Yes, yeah, slab, and then you can go. We can do like a slash. Uh, down six. Six slash, and then. I know it goes down. And then down nine. 39.3 feet. 32.6, So you decided to go with 20 feet to the inch on your scale? About 10.30. So I just set the station there. We're using these targets here to shoot the laser at to give you something to see. And then we're gonna go down there next. Minus 9.9. You ready for Elrods? All right, left is 1.3 slash 16.7. Right is 0.6. Up is 1.4. And down is 
Down is 10. that way. Let me just double check here. Yeah, we're going to go down that way. Okay. Alright, so we're going to set this station right there. You ready for L Rudge too? Back in the day. Yeah. So zero admin. Left is um, seven point two. Right is twelve point six. You've got your up already. And down is zero slash point five. And it's on the floor in the zero slash point five. It's on a breakdown pile in the middle of the passage. Oh, this will be perfect. Actually, this will this will work really. Like we're, we're we are going under the entrance where the water comes. Well, I don't. There, there is a way the water comes, Jason, from the entrance. But I don't know that we can fit. It sumps up there. You know where I was showing you where I set that station to the side? There's a big pool, uh, pond of water. And I think it's like, a, it's like a, a bathtub like what's in our other cave right now. Negative 7.0. Ready for L Rudd? Hold on. That is some scary stuff up there. <laughs> oh, I don't even like sitting here. Okay, um, left is 4.7. Right is 0. 0.6. Up is 5.2. Down is 0 slash 1. It's on breakdown towards the right side of the passage. I'm not even going to call it a wall because it's a breakdown. It's all breakdown. Breakdown, breakdown, breakdown. So this is where water actually comes back from the entrance and then flows back out this way, down that way into the main stream passage. And I know this, it's dry right now, but I've been in here when the water was up when we were doing the dye trace and we could see all the water flowing out of here. So I don't know if Jason might want us to shoot a station up here today or not. I just felt some cold air. A bunch of cave crickets right there. It's draining. Yeah, it's like it comes down and goes under this. What, Jason? So while Jason is sketching, we're poking around. There's air here. Yeah, I think it's just, it's coming back around from the entrance where we set A4. That I've seen water go through A4, where A4 is, and then I've seen it come back down, coming through here. Yeah, that's not. So it's probably nothing that we're going to be able to survey. Nobody getting in there. Uh, uh it's just probably too. It's it's an overflow at the entrance. Yeah, that looks like a fence post right there or a ladder. I didn't see that. Like down here. 
He could have come washed here, in here. from the entrance. Move my pack. That's a ladder. See the holes cut in it? Oh, yeah, that is an old. I see that. Yeah, like an old ladder that people probably used way back in the day. I'm trying to make sense of it all. <laughs> A11. Okay. Uh, 21.5. Okay. 0 0.8. Your left was 10. Your right was 10. Your up was 3. And your down was 0 slash 1. It's on a piece of breakdown in the middle of the passage. It's kind of like a a little breakdown room. Um, to the left is where the, the water flows, the overflow water comes in from the, the main pit. That's a gigantic slab. <laughs> oh, is it talking about that point up there where you just looked at? I looked into it and no one's getting into it. Yeah, it's, oh, really? it's tight. No, no, not here. Oh, on the, oh on uh, the main in the main, up, or even up, yeah, up in the main entrance. So that's straight up. Hmm. Guess I'm making it pretty. Okay, Jesse. Um, not sure how far we can get. If we if we can get over here, it actually it would be fine to on this side. Even if we can hit up here, would be okay. That's a ten. No, wait, wait, wait. He's at a eleven. Can you hit right here? Yeah. Okay, that'll be a good one actually. Right there. Okay. Thirteen. Yeah. Twenty-one point six. Uh, One fifty-eight point seven. Okay. Uh, six point four. Stream should be cooking. Yeah. Well, it's got breakdown too, but not kind of like. Okay, your left is twenty-one point eight. Your right is 15.6. Up is um, one. And your down is 4.5. So basically what we're doing here is we're surveying this cave and we're taking measurements from station to station to station. In between each of those, we're getting the distance, the inclination, and the compass. Jason is taking note of all of those measurements, and then he's drawing the cave map from that. What we're also doing, what Jesse's doing over here, is we're checking leads in the cave. So when you're surveying, you go a lot slower. You have the opportunity to notice more and push the cave in areas and maybe find some passage that nobody's ever been in before. At the station. I think what we may want to do to get a shot clear through possibly through this breakdown is maybe set a rock Karen like up somewhere right in here What's that noise? sounds like an airplane yeah. Crazy you can hear from here. it's definitely an airplane yeah Wow, what a strange thing to hear in a cave. <laughs> so I'm gonna set a rock here in here. We're still literally like only 75, 80 feet from here. It's easier for me to do them on the notes than it is to go back in the notes and have to find it and figure out how to write it. But I guess I'm 
graph for that. 24.7. Okay. 178.5. Okay. Minus 11.0. So do you want your left at where this um, breakdown is right here, Jason? Is that what? Okay. So left is 12. Well, all I see over that way is a bunch of sand and ceiling. Whatever you can see, wherever you can. Okay. 17. Up is 1.7. Down is 0 slash 0.5. It is on a rock cairn in the middle of the passage that will eventually wash away when the water levels come up. Right, let's get through this crawl way here. We're going to go for distance on this one. Okay, I just came through that crawl way right there. And we're in the main stream passage that's upstream. This is downstream, and we're going to see how far of a shot we can get through this crawlway. So Jesse's all the way over there. Um, let's just shoot the laser and see where it hits, and then I, then I can set a station. Maybe try to stay a little, yeah, over there. Okay, let me get over there. Let's see. Woo, that slick as snot. Can you hit this right here? So awesome, he was able to hit this all the way from over there. What was our distance? 89 feet. So I'm gonna set a recoverable station here so we can use it to go upstream or downstream. Flagging. And we're gonna make a station right here. All right, so what I have done here is I have labeled this station and I've marked it with flagging tape so we can come back to this and reuse this station. This is called a recoverable station so we can come back to it later in the survey on a different day and go upstream and survey that way. Brought the really, really bright light today, y'all. So that is the upstream passage right there where all that water is coming from. So something else I'm looking for in the water here today is a Tennessee cave salamander. So I hope to find one to show that to y'all. All that water coming across that little flow stone right there. So we shot our 80 something foot station through this passage right here. So the guys are just going to crawl on through it. So they're just checking out the upstream there for a moment. That'll be another whole day in itself surveying that section. Yeah, 40 foot wide passage here. Our last survey station is over there. And we're going this way, but in the meantime, I just stopped right here. There's some type of fossil in the ceiling right there. Not sure what that is exactly, but there's a lot of other little seashells all right here in the ceiling. There's like a whole long layer of uh, shells. all the way through that way. 
Just turning this light on here, this super bright trust fire light I got. If you want to get one of these, I've got a discount coupon link in the description for this video. This passageway is actually pretty big. So again, we're just documenting this cave. We are surveying it, which is making a map of it. Surveying is a little bit slower than just regular caving. We're not just running through the cave passage. We're actually taking our time and documenting the cave and making note of all of the measurements. And then again, Jason is back there drawing it. Wow, so the station we just shot um, all the way to over here from where Jesse is, over there where that light is, 112 feet. So it's definitely going to take Jason just a little bit of time to draw all of this in. And while he does that, we're going to look around. It's just so peaceful. The water flowing through this passage. Just looking for some critters, though. When you put that light under the water, look at how it just makes everything light up. That is really cool. Again, this is a trust fire. This is a dive light. And if you're interested in one, I've got a link to save some money on it. So we're going to set up a photo right here. Check this out. Checking a lead up there. Doesn't look like it goes. Sure, if we're gonna be able to focus in on this guy. Let me see if I can put my hand behind him so we can. There is a little cave spider right there. Really hard to focus in on him. Now I'm, I've got two sheets of paper left. Literally. There's anything in there. Huh. Looks too tight. Huh. There's a room up there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if we can get to it maybe from another way, but it looks pretty decent. Like, here it looks small, but right there, it looks hard to get to without destroying any, you know, stuff. Um... And it may be that we can get to it from the other side. I'll go check. Looks like somebody's been over here before checking this. Let's see if we can. So when you survey a cave, you push all the leads. Huh. Not sure if I can get up there from right here or not. There's bugs back here. A lot of bugs. Where are we going? wonder if there might be another hole. Back up to an entrance, there's a lot of bugs in here. Bunch of breakdown up there. Craziness right there, some flowstone. Let's see where this way goes. Definitely don't want to go down. Wonder if we can get up there. Oh, 
Ooh, hello, nice big spider. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Let's see if I can, if I can climb up here. I'm not sure. That's pretty. Oop. Too slick. Oh, this is really muddy. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do this. I'm trying to get up there. Somebody's been up here, I can tell. Whoa. It's a room. It's a nice little room. Okay, so we can, once we get to this climb up, then we'll set, we'll try to set a station that can get us back up in this area too to survey it later. Yeah. This is a really pretty wall. Right here, there's some nice flow stone. And up there is where Jesse just climbed and got into that room. We're gonna get our next station set so we can move on. Okay, on station. All right, so I'm going to tie some flagging off here, make this a recoverable station right here so we can shoot some survey back up in that way at a later date. Okay, then we're going to label this A20, and we're going to put today's date, which is November 2nd, 2024. Okay, so I just slid right there and I don't have gloves on. And my hand slid across that rock and it's like a freaking razor blade. So let's go over here and wash off my hand. Oh, it's not too bad right there. Got a little bit of dirt in it. I guess that's what I get for not wearing the gloves. Did you start a new piece of paper there? Yeah. Lines, walls. No life forms in the water, really. I've been looking today, and I haven't seen as much today. Jesse saw the one um, crayfish earlier, but I haven't seen any sculpin. Bugs. Yeah, there's a lot of bugs right here in this area for some reason. Jesse says there's a bunch of cave crayfish up here. They're probably all coming because that's where I just washed all the blood off my hand. They're like, oh, food. Oh, yeah, he's got his little pinchers out. Like, feed me, feed me. Oh, he turned to you like, I got you, buddy. I got you. Let's go. I think you were just challenged. To a duel. Never been challenged by a crawfish before. <laughs> so we're going to set our next station right here. Can you hit that, Jesse? Yeah. All right, the guys are back there. And while they're doing that, I'm going to poke ahead a little bit. And we're going to look at this passage. Just to see what we have coming up. A lot of breakdown right there. I think from here we're gonna be in the water. Some really cool patterns on the sand right there formed when the water is up. Pretty neat. So I just came across this bone right here. I'm not sure what that is from or how old that could be.
Nice flowstone wall right there. I think we should keep going as long as I'm doing okay. Wow, look at that passage. Really nice. Look at that, how you got it all lined up. Lots and lots of detail. So this is our line plot going right here through the middle from station to station to station. And then we give Jason all the measurements and then he can draw all of this out. I'm not sure what that is. Some type of fossil right there. And then there's another one right there. That actually looks like maybe some kind of shark tooth. Then there's a bunch of seashells all right here. I see that little laser there. He's taking the shot and getting the distance and inclination and the compass reading. There's a lot of breakdown in between the last shot that we just did and where I set the station. Evidence there of some sticks in the ceiling of this passage. That's probably about six feet up. It's a lot of water. So I just found a shark's tooth in the ceiling right here. Check that out. It's broken. I can't get my finger up there for scale. But that is a broken shark's tooth. You can also see a lot of other little shell fossils all in the ceiling right here as well. All right, you ready for L rods? Yeah. Left is eight. Right is 27. Up is four and 4.8. And down is zero slash two. It's, um, I think it's a rock. On the left side, it, it feels, doesn't feel like mud. Yeah, a little piece of rock break down on the left side of the passage. Getting our last station for the day. Marking it as a recoverable. So when we come back, we can pick up where we left off. All right, we just took our last survey station, which is good because Jason's almost out of paper. We'll add up later how much we did today, but we are going to go to the back of the cave and check it out real quick before we head out. All right, so we just got to the back of the cave where there's some big walking passage. If I can get my feet under me, turn this light on. Look how big that walking passage is there. And it goes back up there. It looks like there's a room up there, Jason. I haven't been up there at all. Uh, yeah, it ends. There's the stump right over there. Pretty big passage back here. A frog? Well, we know where it comes out, obviously. Here, you want this? There's no way on. It sinks, I guess. Here. Now, Jamie's swam up in there. So yeah, this is how it ends, and we've traced all of this water to a resurgence on the surface. So we know where it comes out, and then goes into the mainstream and onto the, the Tennessee River. So yeah, this is pretty big up here. We've got quite a bit more to survey. Now this cave is listed as being 1,500 feet long. After everything we've seen today, I don't know, I think we might get about 2,500 feet out of it. it I think at least half a mile of cave here. More, more than what it's listed as for sure. And that's the benefit of surveying. Um, Oh, for sure. All this big room and breakdown, drawing all this. Yeah. 
I think we've got, I think we could finish this survey in two more trips. Three trips total and I think we could have the whole cave surveyed. y'all i hope you enjoyed our survey of this cave here behind me today we did not finish it today it'll probably take a couple of more trips but i hope you understand the process and why we do this if you have any questions leave them in the comments i'll be more than happy to answer them if you like my content content make sure you like and subscribe for more outdoor recreation here in the heart of tag which is short for tennessee alabama and georgia Happy caving, folks, and let's go get out of these dirty clothes and go get some food. Me? And then the passage goes this way, to this way, all the way to there. That's actually quite a bit of survey that we got done today.